Hi guys. Happy Sunday. It is about 10 minutes to 8 on Sunday is the 14th. It's daylight savings time. So, um, of course, I'm thinking it's way earlier than it is, but we're just going to roll with it. So today I'm going to show you this fun uh, lock card. So here's your card. And when you pull on the little loop, it'll open up. Lots of space for writing inside. As my circle got bigger and bigger, my pull tab got smaller and smaller. So we're going to be using designer paper that will be soon retiring. Let me get in here. So on pages 148 and 149 of your annual catalog, these are the DSPs that were introduced and it's very rare that they ever carry these over. Sometimes they'll introduce them in a mini catalog and then bring them to the annual catalog, but it's very rare that these designer papers get carried over. And your in colors and your, uh, your basic colors, those of course will get carried over, but these rarely do. I, I'd say 98% of the time they get retired. So the card I used here, was using this ornate garden. Now that was a pre-purchase special. So people got it, I think a year ago, about this time before it came out of the catalog. This artistry blooms, I just opened a few minutes ago. I had never opened this. Kind of embarrassed to say that. So we're gonna use that for the second card today. Um, show you that you use very little cardstock. Now I usually, on my base color, I'm going to use Highland Heather today. I usually like getting two cards out of a sheet of cardstock. You can see this one, it doesn't use just, you'll use one sheet, but you only get one card out of it and some layering. And then we're going for the layers inside and out. We're going to use that designer paper. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me bring out that artistry blooms. Now, Highland Heather is not one of the coordinating cardstocks or cardstock colors for this. As you can see, Gorgeous Grape is, do I have that centered? Gorgeous Grape is one of those that's on there. But when I first was trying it, I thought that it kind of blended in too much. So I, on this one, I am going to use the Highland Heather. I almost called it Wisteria Wonder. That would have really taken me back a catalog or two. All right, and we're gonna use that sheet from the Artistry Blooms. And hopefully I have enough stamp and seal to make it because I am running low and my order hasn't come in yet. Okay, so you've got to remember on this, you're going to actually cut it five and a half, but it's going to be the other way because you want this card base to be 10 and 5 eighths the long way. So come over here. Here's 10 and 4 eighths and there's 10 and 5 eighths. So it's just that notch after the fourth. I mean, I'm sorry, the half. Oh my gosh, I keep moving it. There we go. And you'll have a little strip left. This might be handy though for later for the pull. We'll see. And then on this way, you're going to cut at five and a half. All right. Put your cutting blade up there. Do not, as I've ruined many card pieces, do not use your cutter on these next score mines. So now you're going to score at your basic uh, card measurements that you usually used to. So we're going to score at four and a fourth. And then we're going to score again at eight and a half, which is usually where your cart ends. But since it's a little bit longer, it's not where it ends. So there's our two marks. Bring that over here. Let me get my bone folder so we get a nice crease on that. Okay, get my bone folder. All right, so there we have a good crease. All right, so now for your layer, 
you're going to use most of this if you decide to make your inside um if you decide to make your inside part of the desired paper you might get a coordinating color stock uh card stock and put it on the inside if you want to use all your designer paper just for ease i am going to use my designer paper for all of it so you're going to cut at five and a fourth because that's going to be your layering since your card is five and a half long your five and a fourth is going to be your big one now on this if you're going to use the designer paper on both of the inside panels you will cut two of those and then one for the outside i'm just going to cut two this time because i'm going to use a plain colored cardstock i see so we're going to go to four so this is going to be five and a fourth by four which is your normal layer and then i say one and seven eighths just one of them but then your inside flaps not colored so i think i'm going to do two of those so still five and a fourth we're going to go one and seven eighths which is that mark right before the two and let me see let me get my straight edge on there one and seven eighths there we go okay and i think maybe i'll use some whisper white on the inside or basic white whichever you have in stock i still have whisper white in stock all right so now you're going to go in you're going to come in you're going to see how you like it to look now that has more pink on there so if i go like this it does kind of define that pretty well i go like that it's really i think i'm gonna leave it like that let's try it like that how about that um and on the inside on this side i will do the purple and the purple side because i'm gonna do whisper white on the inside there so let's go ahead and tack the insides down the insides are going to be of course full strength you're gonna put tape so that it adheres down all four sides. Come across here. So that I don't have my, my silicone mat out, I'm going to just make sure I connect there because that helps keep the tape flowing. So don't put it down yet. Make sure you get all your edges the way you want them. And then push it down because once you push it down, it's down for good. All right, so now on this one, where I'm going to be punching, I don't want to put adhesive. So I'm going to put my fingers there. So I remember not to, let me see. So I'm not going to put adhesive where I possibly might be punching. Again, over the top. So you have your nice little layer. And this, I can go all the way around. I'm just not going to go up that high with it. Just go around the edges because, again, I'm going to punch in there. So let's go just around the perimeter. Okay, again, hover above it till you get your... Okay, so now we're going to... That's all the layering, except when we put in our... our message panel so here is where i don't currently have the punch that's in the new catalog the i think it's called the tailored punch what is it called let's look really quick we have very few punches left so classic label i don't have that one i have the old word window but either way you can go ahead and use whatever you have available you just want to make sure that it's about half an inch, to, fourth of an inch to a half an inch wide. And what you're going to do is, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go about halfway, but I'm going to go all the way in. So you're at the top of your card there. I'm going to go punch one there. It's going to be a little bit hard to get through, of course, because it's two layers of cardstock. And then I'm going to bring it over just a little bit more. So I have a longer channel. All right. Then you're going to bring this over. 
And I like making just a little tick mark. Let me get a pencil. I just like making inside, not right to the edge, little tick marks. So I know where I want that punch to go. All right. You know what? Maybe I'll make the top line a little bit more like that. So then on here, you're going to make sure, again, you're going to be up all that way, but you know you want it to go at least to that tick mark. Okay. So now when you close it, see how it is. All right. Now you can keep these for your poles. I'm going to put them up here on my base just in case I decide to use them for the poles. Now you're going to go ahead and do whatever it is you want for your pull mechanism. Uh, a lot of people use the the um, circles. Um, it really is the best way to use. But then what you're going to do is let me go get my circle punches. You would think I would be more prepared, but I'm not. So... Okay, so these might be retired too. I'm not sure which sizes we still have, but I'm going to use the one and three eighths and the one and a fourth. So the one and three eighths, I'm going to do out of that. Uh, this is what we cut off from the original. And one and a fourth, I'm going to do off of, hmm, let me think what I want to do. You know what? I'm going to go back. I'm going to rearrange it. So the one and three eighths, the bigger one, I'm going to do in the gorgeous grape. And the one and a fourth, I'm going to do in the Highland Heather. Okay, so we have that. I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. Stamping it, I'm going to use the Well Said. And I'm going to use, let's see, I think I had the hello right here. Oh my goodness. So I'm just gonna do a quick hello one. I'm gonna do that on the Highland Heather. Let me grab one of my little blocks. Hopefully I have that on pretty straight. We go quick little hello using my memento let me put this so hopefully it's kind of straight I kind of have it lined up okay so then I'm not going to I am going to tear it down now oh and you know what where did that other circle go I need that circle anyway because I have to have my mechanism to slide. Okay, so here's where it kind of helps if you have the, the foam strips. Because the dimensionals and the mini dimensionals work, but when you're pulling it, you kind of want to have it balanced. So this is where it helps to have these foam strips. And so I already have a piece that's about the size of that circle. What you're going to do is you're going to lay this down so it looks kind of centered. And then you're going to hang on to it. So it kind of somewhat lays down flat there. You're going to take your piece of adhesive foam strip. You're going to push it down. Peel it off. Oh my goodness. Should get my take your pip tool but i didn't all right so you're going to peel it off and press it down so now you can see and this is why we made that a little bit longer you have to make sure your channel's long enough that your card comes out of the side if you only did the one punch it goes to about there and it would stick so that's why we made it a little bit longer but there you go now, in this card, I didn't like seeing the yellow underneath, so that's why I layered it after I punched with another piece of cardstock. So if you want to 
you could not put this down yet, wait, and then put a piece of uh, cardstock over the top of that so you don't see that pulley. Again, then you would just do the tape around the edges so you're not stopping your mechanism. Okay, so there you go. That's the card. Have fun with it. Like I said, it's really kind of fun. You could put the little pulley here if you have one of these. Cut it down. Put the pulley underneath there. Right, or maybe write the words pull there, but just a little tab like that works. Just tape it underneath there, glue it, and you can do it. But I think with the channel here, most people will know that they have to slide it over to open it up. All right, thanks guys, and have a great day.